Hello, Julia. Hello, hello. hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I see that you see us. Yes, that you hear yes. for sure. Uh, my name is Michal Stempniewski. I am a member of the commission today, and uh, it's a great pleasure for me to, to, to see you and to provide this, uh, this speech. Uh, I am uh, the member of the management board of the KDPW, and today, together with Pani Katarzyna Rinkiewicz and Pan Piotr Gilgomas, we are the commission for you and the rest of the students. Okay, it's nice to see you. <laughs> Hello. Hello, uh, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, my name is Katarzyna Rynkiewicz and I am a managing director at uh, Aeon Poland. Uh, this is insurance uh, broking company. Julia, very nice to meet you. My name is Piotr Wilgomas. I'm managing partner of Bigram. We are executive search and HR consulting company. So we'll be happy to hear your presentation. Okay, so can I start? Yes. Yes, please, you can start. Okay. Thank you. And so, uh, one more time. Hello, my name is Julia Auger, and I am attending the third grade in Trumani High School in New Zealand. And my extended subjects are Polish, Polish history and English. Each of these subjects is connected to my passion. I love reading history books, discuss history problems, and that's why I took part in history debates which were organized by Institut Pamięci Narodowej in Warsaw and in smaller school competition too. Uh, I love theater both as an audience and as an actress. To be honest, as an actress even more. Uh, that's the reason uh, why I attend drama club in my uh, school. I am in charge of organizing our meetings and being in touch with uh, the head teacher. I help to create the monthly covering the issue of my high school. Uh, I write for them some articles about school life and interesting cultural events, such as new exhibition, the book I have read or, or the film I have watched. Um, I am a scout and a scouting is a place where I learn how to help others. I was the leader uh, of one of the patrol and I lead the group uh, of five to eight girls. It depends about which period of time we're talking about uh, during these two years when I was this leader. And the next place where I'll still, I'm still i still learning how to manage people is my school, school government because I am one of the members there. Members there. Um, I know that the Queen Hedwig Scholarship uh, puts a lot of emphasis on the future of young people and that's why I'm going to tell you about my plans. This is just plans and I don't know how finally my future is going to look like but I would like to become a civil servant one day. I want to serve the country and the people who live there. Mm. To achieve it, I know I have to be a very solid person and to develop this comprehension, I try to self-develop in every area of my school life, even though I'm not the best in every particular subject. Uh, and that's why I would like to take part in this scholarship. Uh, it's a great opportunity uh, to learn about the technology uh, which is really important nowadays because they are used in every area of our lives. Um, I believe that if I want to uh, be an educated person, I have to broaden my mind constantly. And that's why I think this trip to Silicon Valley uh, could be really helpful for me. Going to the USA, it's a goal for me. And if I, I achieve it, if I, achieve it uh, I could show to my friends uh, that if you believe in something and you work hard, you can reach your goals. Mm. I want to be a full fit person and uh, have this knowledge that I have done all the best, the best I can. Uh, and there are a lot of person who is, uh, like there is a lot of people who is ambitious and uh, who want to be successful in life. And it's good to know that I'm not the only one. And I think here during this scholarship, I would have an opportunity to meet people like this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. And to restart the question, maybe now, Katarzyna, please, first question. Uh, Julia, uh, I, I really like your enthusiasm uh, uh, in your presentation. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoy it, uh, <laughs> being here today. And I, I want to ask you, as, the, um, as I understood, as, you, as a historian, uh, what would you like to learn in uh, Silicon Valley? 
Well, because I know that Silicon Valley, like it's the center of the like the nowadays culture, and during the history, like there is a lot of the centers which were like kind of icon for a particular period of time, and like I think that uh, for the first century age, this is like Silicon Valley is one of this uh, this uh, this place and like the whole United States of America. And if I want to achieve uh, something in life and be just an educated person, I think I should uh, know, like, should know how it works, even when I am not really interested. Like, it's not the the most important uh, like part of my future job. Okay. Okay. Great. And uh, you said you want to be a civil servant. What yes. do you mean by that? Like I want to work um, maybe in the government or like like a general um, like beyond duty for my country. Uh, yes. <laughs> Any specifics? <laughs> well, for now I don't know because I think I would know when I'll be older and I will have more knowledge about this. And so now you are just open to to yes, the. Yes, I'm open. I am searching. Uh, yes. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. A question from my side. History is also a topic interesting to me. Which part of history is the most interesting for you uh, regarding Poland and international history? Which parts are your your topics? Okay. So uh, from the history of Poland, I really like. It's maybe kind of specific, but for example, I love reading books which based. Uh, on the history of Second World War. Uh, it's really a terrible time, uh, but for me, it's really interesting how it looked like because we still have this opportunity to meet, meet, meet people who li live during this time. But uh, like like general history, I really like uh, learning and about uh, ancient Greece because like uh, this is the, an amazing culture and we could learn uh, a lot of, from them. Okay. You have also mentioned that ecology is your passion. So how uh, ecology? Mm -hmm. You have mentioned ecology. Am I right? Ecology? No, I uh, no. Not really. Am I? <laughs> okay. Maybe that was some somewhere uh, in, in 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 during the presentation. Maybe I misheard something. But which uh, areas, which problems or challenges of our uh, global world uh, you think are the most important from your perspective? Um, I think like, hmm, like in general, the whole problem of uh, this global warming is a little bit exhausted because like then our children gonna live in this world that uh, it's uh, well um, that we are living now and it's gonna worse and worse and i think we should try to uh, make it better for them and yes okay and so uh, which of those problems you face yourself so you, you think that maybe you could be involved yourself uh, in, in looking for solutions? Like maybe as a scout, uh, I, uh, I was uh, once uh, like uh, in one action that we, for example, collect trash from the, uh, from the uh, like parks and from this green area. Uh, and I think it's like the easiest way to start, just pick this trash and uh, Put them to the rubbish. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, uh, Julia. I have the question. Mm -hmm. Who was your greatest inspiration or interest in the history? Your father, just you know, by yourself. Uh, like to be interested. Your teacher at school. Well, I have right now a wonderful teacher, like history teacher. And when I was in primary school, I also had a really wonderful teacher. But I don't know. I remember my parents uh, told me that e even when I was a small children, I was seven. I listened to the guide really carefully. And I still uh, like uh, love to go, for example, to museum, to castle and to explore this history. but. From who I don't really know because my father is an economist, 
<laughs> so I don't think so from okay. him, but, but maybe and from his mother because she used to read me uh, some books. Yes. Okay, so I have another two questions. One, do you have any favorite hero from the Polish uh, historical uh, historical guys, you know, who, mm -hmm. from different period? And the, the, the another question is about the President of the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you have somebody from the former President of the United States who is, you know, the, the idol for you. So, so the first is about the Polish hero, and the another one about the president of the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, in my essay that I have wrote, uh, wrote uh, Maria Kudowska. <laughs> yes, yes, and um, maybe not because she is interested in the same area as me, because like she was a scientist, and uh, yeah, I don't that's, have this that's... scientist skill. I have this maybe classical more, uh, but uh, she was a really full fulfilled person and she achieved a lot like seriously a lot like it's not just my opinion it's the opinion of the whole world and i want to achieve uh, uh, really my goals to be honest and i want to learn from her how to like achieve it and like being proud also that uh, i am from poland and because she was and about the united states president um I don't know, to be honest, I, I didn't think about, I haven't anyway. thought about this. Maybe before. after the trip to the United States, you will sound, yes, maybe, sound. Yes, <laughs> yes, I hope so. Uh, but for example, like uh, about uh, like maybe English uh, country person, I really um, admire uh, the Queen Victoria and the Queen Elizabeth II because uh, I also watched a serial about Queen Victoria and she also really inspired me to be gentle, but also have the opinion and like stay focused on the duty. Yes. Okay, so I see only the women. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, so once again, thank you, the, the quick okay. summary. Uh, my, uh, my opinion is like this, you know, I, of course, thank you very much for well English and uh, you know, the, the, the well speech and answer for, for, for a question. And um, that's my opinion. It's about the history because I'm also the, the fan of the history from the elementary, secondary, and I like to read some of the historical books until now. But I think that somebody told me that if you well understand the history of different countries, it's much better to, to, to understand the future and uh, previous time. And I think that that's, you know, the history could be very useful. In, in, in your life, and I wish you that. Thank you. So once again, thank you very much for, for coming to the program. Thank you very much. Yes, Julia, thank you very much uh, for, for, your, for your time and uh, what you said. Uh, uh, for, for me, you, uh, you, you really inspired me. Uh, saying oh, as, as, a, as a young person, you want uh, to de de devote yourself uh, as, as a servant, uh, help others. Uh, I, I really admire that and uh, cross fingers uh, um, for you uh, to fulfill all your, all your uh, ambitions and dreams. Good luck. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank the you. same from my side. Thank you very much for your ambitious uh, presentation and a lot of good energy. So wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, you. And thank you, everybody, who are listening to us on the internet. Thank you very much. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.